In this lesson, we're going to solve a range of problems involving fractions and the order of operations. So we'll start with question A. Now, the first thing we're going to do is write these fractions with a common denominator. So one quarter would be five twentieths and three fifths will be 12 twentieths. So now we can work out this addition. So that would be five halves times 17 twentieths. Now we can cross simplify this product by making the five divided by five to make one and 20 divided by five to make four. So we have one times 17, which is 17, over two times four, which is eight. So the answer, 17 eighths. Question B, again, we're going to write the subtraction with a common denominator. So this would be 30. So that would be 20 over 30 minus nine over 30. Now, now we'll convert the mixed number to a top every fraction, which is three halves. And we'll multiply that by 11 thirtieths, which is 20 take away nine. And again, we can cross simplify this. So divide that by three to make one, divide that by three to make 10. So we have one times 11 is 11, and two times 10 is 20. So the answer, 11 twentieths. Question C involves the division. So again, we're going to write the subtraction with fractions of a common denominator, this time of 12. So that would be 15 over 12. Take away four over 12. So that would be one third. I will change the divide to a times. Multiplied by, the answer to this is 11 twelfths. So it will be multiplied by 12 elevenths. Now we can use cross simplifying. So this becomes one, divided it by three, and that becomes four. So then we have one over one times four over 11, which is just four over 11. And the last question, we're going to use the order of operations. So we'll do the division first. And that becomes five quarters multiplied by seven fifths because we change the division to a multiplication and we can cross simplify by dividing by five so that becomes one and this becomes one we have one quarter times seven over one which is seven quarters remember the seven quarters was the division so finally, put this back into the calculation, seven quarters plus one quarter gives you eight quarters, which is two. Thank you for watching. I do hope you found that useful and check out the description for the full lesson.